This one-of-a-kind aircraft is designed to break the sound barrier, but with a quieter boom. It's amazingly cool. I've been working on this project since we were just doing napkin sketches and figuring out what would a low sonic boom airplane look like. Sonic booms are rare over land in the U.S. and essentially illegal. One rattled Washington, D.C. last year caused by a fighter jet scrambling to intercept a private aircraft in restricted airspace. The X-59 would be much quieter, more like a car door closing across the street. Reducing the boom is key to new regulations allowing commercial supersonic flight, which would cut a five-hour cross-country flight down to about two and a half hours. NASA is already using an extreme dive maneuver to create quieter booms and measuring the impact on the ground. The X-59 is the next phase. It's being built in Palmdale in the high desert at Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, a name synonymous with taking aviation to new heights. Soon, the X-59 will fly all over the country, possibly even San Diego, to collect data. Really, when you look at the airplane and you wonder why does it look that way, whatever it is you're wondering about, the reason why it's that way is for low sonic boom. The futuristic design includes a cockpit with no front window. We call it XVS or external vision system. And it's a, a monitor that they're looking at within the cockpit that's being fed by a 4K high definition camera. So essentially, they'll probably forget that they're not even looking outside at a, at a real window. This project requires groundbreaking design technology. We actually use virtual reality where we took a scan of the bottom of the airplane and then we're able to virtually assemble the aircraft. There are also innovations in manufacturing. We actually had a movable robot um, that came in, moved around the airplane, and was able to drill all of those holes. That robot saved months of time. Building a prototype like this is a challenge. But on this airplane, everything's a one for one. So if something goes wrong, we're coming up with a very unique solution. It's not all new. They modified an existing engine, borrowed a cockpit from a T-38, and landing gear from an F-16. Breakthroughs like this don't happen overnight. Design on the X-59 began in 2015. First construction, 2019. And this year, 2024, it will take flight. Old and new, after years of work, it's all coming together. How exciting is it to be part of testing, developing something that could revolutionize the way we move people around the world? I mean, it's super exciting. I've been on this program for probably five to six years now. I've seen this uh, built from before a single piece of metal was here. And being able to be a part of that and see how this could potentially change commercial supersonic flight for me and, and everyone is just is pretty awesome. And to a person, the people working on the X-59 believe it will achieve its goals and send aviation to new heights. Again, the X-59 is set to make its first flight this year, and even if it's successful, we won't see commercial supersonic flight until 2035 or later, most likely. Just the idea of being able to fly from coast to coast in two and a half hours is incredible. Yeah. How much does something like this plane cost? I uh, mean, okay, the, the, the price tag, it's not a small one, about $630 million, and that exceeded the original price tag significantly. And on top of that, skeptics aren't convinced that there's going to be a great return on investment here. They question how much of a demand there really is for commercial supersonic flight. We're going to have to get through this phase, testing, see if they can change the FAA rules for supersonic flight mm -hmm. over land. After that, we'll see what happens. It